so flat that his arches touched the ground when he walked. But his feet are getting better, and he wants to play sports like the other boys. Man, listen. Rich is small for his age. His feet are flat. And he has got the worst case of asthma I have ever treated. Now, it's cruel to encourage him. I promise, my son. Brit? Now, son, it's for your own good that I am saying you can't play sports. Now, you understand that, don't you? wants this bus situation dealt with fairly. Now, he wants a compromise with Reverend King and his followers. He does not want a boycott. I'm not giving the niggers a thing. I don't care who knows it. We've got a city ordinance to enforce, and that's all I got to say. Where's the restroom, Senator? I get turned around every time I come up here. Just walk straight down the hall, take your face right. There's a door on the left marked gentleman. Don't let that stop you. Just walk right on in. I apologize for the commissioner, Reverend King. He's a jackass. I'm sure you've met the type many times. Many times, Senator Flowers. I'd like to offer my sincere thanks for your help in this matter. But now I've got to go back to my people and tell them that we couldn't work this out. Well, we all pull off a boycott. The state of Alabama never gonna be the same. If we pull off the boycott, Senator, the world will never be the same. Mary, Richmond, I'd like you to meet Reverend Martin Luther King. He's my wife, my oldest son. Nice to meet you, sir. A pleasure to meet you both. I wish there were a lot more white men in Alabama like your husband, Mrs. Flowers. Well, sir, he has often remarked that he wished there were more men in Alabama like you, Reverend King. I understand you're thinking about running for attorney general. Well, if not this time, maybe the next time. We're going to need the help of a few good men in high places. Just a few. My followers and I can shed all the necessary blood and tears, but we're going to need all the help we can get. I'll think about that, Reverend King. All right, now, you kids, take really good care of yourself. Come on. Go on, get in, Richard. Thank you. We'll see you next all week. All right. Bye, Bernice. You know, it'll be good to get back home to Dothan. I've had enough politics for a while. I want you to look at this. I want you to remember this well. What are we looking at, Daddy? The beginning of a new era, son. This is incredible. Rich, you've grown six inches and put on 50 pounds in the last year. 
Well, now, what about the animal, Mary? He's only had one attack since last visit. Well, he's outgrowing it. That happens to a lot of boys. Can I quit wearing the shoes? I've been doing the exercises every day. Well, Rich, your feet are never going to be perfect. But uh, I believe that they are as good as they're ever going to be. That's because I do such good work. Can I go out for football? I need a note. Well, sure, Rich. And if you ever need a note to wrestle alligators or go ride bulls at the rodeo, you just come on back to me. How does it feel to be the wife of the Attorney General? Tolerable, just tolerable. It's hard to get used to receiving obscene phone calls and hate mail from perfect strangers. Not all perfect strangers, Mom. We know a couple of them. If they try to integrate our schools, they'll find Governor George Wallace blocking the schoolhouse doors. If they try to integrate our lunch counters, I'll give them the same thing to eat that the federal government's been feeding us for the last 10 years. <laughs> From this cradle of the Confederacy, this very heart of the great Anglo-Saxon Southland, I draw a line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say, segregation now, yeah. segregation tomorrow. Negro men and women are systematically denied the right to vote. When Negro children consider themselves lucky, they learn to read. Alabama is a state of fear where night riders have the consent of men in power to murder any man or woman who disagrees with them. No more. As Attorney General, I am promising the people of Alabama I will uphold the law of the land for every person in the state. Thank you. You better read. Thank you. Yes, sir, Coach. Fall in line over there. Yes, sir. Hustle. Yes, sir. You know who that is, don't you? That's our Attorney General's boy. Yeah. Says he wants to play football. Well, let's scrimmage. Watch out! on issues that you know will only cause us trouble. Because it's right. Because the country's going to have to accept integration sooner or later. 
And I just hope we can get it done peacefully. Well, if you can do that, you ought to run for governor. Maybe I will. I also heard 